If you want to make good horror, then you've got to have a good atmosphere. I mean, it's either that or straight up showing Jules' search history for a couple of minutes, but in a video game, the rules are a little different. If you want to do scary, then you need a good monster. Whether these are psychological enemies playing on human fear, grotesquely designed demons, or simply big beasts who can tear you apart. An imposing baddie is the best way to keep your players on the edge of their seats and with twitchy button fingers. It can be hard to find much that's original in the horror genre these days given just how much content is churned out. But over the years, creators have continued to find new and novel designs to keep our hearts racing. However sick, twisted, gruesome and grotesque the designs get, you just have to remind yourself it's only a game, probably. And if you like this kind of content, dear watchers, then I have a whole series going into these wild and wacky monsters and the real-world influences and inspirations behind them, exploring what they really mean. You can catch the Monster Manual on a link in the description below. Plug, plug, plug. In the meantime, though, I am the Monster Hunter, Ash from What Culture Gaming, and these are the 10 most terrifying monsters in video game history. And if you like this kind of content, dear watchers, then I have a whole series going into the horror content you want to see over on our main What Culture channel, aptly titled Ash vs. The Evil Wed. You can catch it every Wednesday and chat all things spooky with me, as well as suggest your own ideas, which is very neat. Catch it in the link in the description below, but for now, here is your lovely list back. 10. Silent Hill 2 – Pyramid Head The best horror comes from within, and the Silent Hill series is a thinking man's Resident Evil, adding a psychological depth to the survival horror genre. Arguably, its best creation is Pyramid Head, who appears in the eponymous town as a physical manifestation of protagonist James's guilt over the death of his wife. Pyramid Head is an avenging angel of sorts, a force of judgment summoned so that James might atone for his sins. Silent, brooding, and iconic in his appearance, the monster stalks James across the game, swinging his blade like the Grim Reaper's scythe. Beyond the psychological elements, he's simply a great piece of game design, imposing and seemingly unstoppable. Pyramid Head has become the distinctive image, or the totem of the Silent Hill series, and unsurprisingly has been dragged out in further games. But the initial appearance remains by far the best, as impactful and ingenious. 9. The Witch – Left for Dead there's nothing that can strike fear into the hearts of a group, merrily hacking their way through a horde of zombies like the screech of a witch. Visualized as sad, mourning young women of incredibly lanky physique, the witches are isolated, special type zombies that are incredibly hard to get off your case should you disturb them, with a set of particularly hazardous claws should you draw their ire. Zombies as a collective in gaming are pretty scary as it's, despite being oversaturated in modern media, so this little twist on what we thought we already knew works incredibly well. There's nothing quite like knowing a witch is around and having to change tack entirely, sweatily trying to sneak through without getting a face full of tooth and nail in the process. 8. The Evil Within – The Keeper Just when you think every possible variation of video game monster has been conceived of, The Evil Within brings you a 7-foot brute with a safe for a head. The Keeper doesn't do anything too fancy by way of combat. He's just a gigantic bloke with a meat mallet, which really is plenty scary enough. The Keeper pops up throughout The Evil Within and is able to respawn in safes scattered across certain chapters of the game. The sound and visual design plays a large role in The Keeper's fear factor, with screeching and camera glitches signifying its arrival and putting the player on edge. Not just a dumb lug, The Keeper will set traps for the player, and once you're snagged, will take joy in bashing your head in with his hammer. 7. Ocarina of Time – Warmaster for a family-friendly collection of games, the Zelda series has more than its fair share of enemies. Redeads, Lionels, and Guardians have given many a kid a sleepless night, but nothing puts the willies of a player like the Warmaster. Reaching their frightening pinnacle in the N64's Ocarina of Time, these disembodied hands are so nasty that Link's fairy companion Navi is obliged to warn him when he enters a room containing the beast. The Warmaster lurks on the ceiling until Link remains still. The telltale growing shadow lets you know it has launched an attack, but as often as not, it is too late. The beast has grabbed you and transported you back to the start of the dungeon. Pleat with unsettling scuttling sounds as they move on their fingers, they are the stuff of nightmares. 6. Half-Life – Headcrab 
20 plus years down the line, the Half-Life series remains beloved, with the very suggestion of a third installment sending fans into a frenzy. Among its myriad innovations and iconic moments, the Head Crab is one of the franchise's greatest ideas. Taking inspiration from years of sci-fi parasites, the Head Crab's aim is to latch itself onto a human host, and take them over by way of an as-yet unexplained poison. While they're fairly common in the Half-Life games, their lustre never fades. It is really hard to get sick of such an expertly designed monster. While they're likely the most recognisable enemy in the series, the developers have kept relatively tight-lipped as to the monster's history. This, naturally, has led to mass theorising on the part of the series' devoted fans, only making the critters all the more iconic. 5. Resident Evil 3 – Nemesis Even most non-gamers will be well aware of Resident Evil as a horror franchise, and after nearly 25 years in the fright business, they have a wide roster of monsters to choose from. There have been flashier baddies before and since, but for pure brute force terror, it is hard to look past Nemesis. Making its debut in the third main series game, Nemesis had only one goal – to destroy protagonist Jill Valentine. It is utterly focused, chasing the player from area to area, popping up over and again throughout the game, each time with further additions to its already extensive arsenal. Resident Evil 3 allows the player to make a number of choices leading to different story paths. But like Death, Taxes, and Thanos, Nemesis is inevitable. Whatever you do, the monster will resurface, ever more bent on destroying the player. The game concludes with the defeat of the monster, naturally, and Capcom go big with this. They knew they had something good here, though, and Nemesis would go on to become one of the series' iconic villains, relentlessly chasing players for years to come. 4. Amnesia The Dark Descent – The Shadow In Amnesia The Dark Descent, you are tricked into scaring yourself. Tasked with creeping around a textbook horror castle, you have no weapons, no abilities, no means of protecting yourself other than to just run away. Through all this, you're stalked by a mysterious shadow, a malevolent presence which is invisible to the eye but with a presence felt across the whole game. While other games on this list might combine horror with other genres, the Amnesia series aims strictly to deliver terror to its players. Protagonist Daniel is defenseless against the hordes of supernatural foes, and the on-screen sanity meter shows his grip on reality slowly slipping away. The shadow represents an unknowable and unstoppable force, a threat lurking around every corner, ready to snatch Daniel away into the darkness, into the beyond. As the game progresses, we see that the shadow has followed Daniel throughout much of his life, and is quite literally a personal demon made real during the course of the game. Ultimately, the scariest thing about Amnesia The Dark Descent is that there is no great reward for the player, no moment of hope. Your best result is to leave with your sanity intact, and maybe that's all any of us can ask for. 3. Until Dawn – Wendigo Until Dawn goes above and beyond in the pursuit of horror. A bevy of choices and a seriously impressive voice cast, it lives up to its billing as an interactive drama. Best of all, it boasts the Wendigo, perhaps the most viscerally scary video game antagonist in recent memory. Using a Native American spell, the Wendigos are a mutated strain of humanity turned into demented, bloodthirsty monsters after turning to cannibalism in the 1950s. With wolf-like senses and tenacity, they stalk their prey across the mountains that make up the game's setting. Making them even scarier, they maintain some of the form and even the characteristics of their human hosts. To be turned into a Wendigo is a terrible curse, and one which can befall some of the playable characters if you make the wrong choices. The wide selection of alternate endings means many players will take the game for another spin, but Until Dawn's best creation is its antagonists. They may be based on Native American mythology, but as a video game baddie, they are a fresh, new terror. 2. The Last of Us Clicker the Last of Us might just be the best-received video game of the last decade. Since its release and subsequent remaster, praise has been lavished on its voice acting, atmosphere, and gripping story. But of course, the best of the bunch is the game's enemies. The third stage of the devastating viral infection that fuels the narrative, by the time a blighted victim becomes a clicker, there's hardly anything recognizably human left about them. Boasting a fungus-like growth in lieu of a head and supernatural strength, they are a walking example of just how doomed humanity is in The Last of Us. The game uses them sparingly, and this makes them all the more frightening. Coming across a clicker requires a measured counteraction to get past it. They're not the hardest enemy to kill, but they are among the most unnerving, navigating using sonar and never giving up once they've locked on to their prey. 1. Dead Space – Leaper in space, as the saying goes, no one can hear you scream, but Dead Space's Leaper would likely have something to say about that. 
just human enough to carry an air of tragedy but mutated into something truly petrifying, the ever-present Leaper has made the Dead Space series one of horror's best. You first encounter the Leaper with little fanfare. It scuttles around the vents of a corridor, making some gross sounds and looking for its chance to get its claws into you. So far, nothing out of the ordinary. Things change, however, when you confront it. Rearing onto its back legs and charging towards you, the Leaper emits an almost human roar. And then there's another, and another. There's much more to Dead Space than the monsters, of course, but the Leapers are in a league of their own when it comes to fear. They're gross, they're fast, they're strong, they are some of the scariest assholes in gaming. And that's our list. What other terrifying monsters belong up here? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture Gaming. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more spine-tingling horror content. Thanks for watching.